God is not quick to catch people ready handed in simple alikuwa ameka mbinguni anaona adamu na eva wanakula tunda he was in heaven yani hata waso lilikuwa waso lilipokuwa tu kichwani mungu alikuwa na wao even when they thought about that god saw them akasema mmoja nione wanafanyaje god said let me see what they're going to do wakawaza kichwani so they thought wakasema inabidi nikale they said now we're going to eat akaenda kuchuma mungu anamuona He, she went yani and pick the fruit. Pengine Mungu alikuwa ni mimi, ningekuwa na kerere. If God were me, I'll be quick to go. Ushile, 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 nimekuumba, nimekuumba, ushile bwana. Na mpango mkubwa na wewe. I have a plan for you. Mpango mkubwa. I have a for you, international plan. Mungu alikuwa anamwangalia kwa mbali. God just watching from a distance. Unawaza nini? What are you thinking? Tunda. A fruit. Haya. Okay. Unawaza nini? Are you thinking? Tunda. Fruit. Endelea mama. Continue mami. Mungu anamuona. God. Anasema labda atabadilisha mawazo. Maybe change. Wakati anaenda kuchuma. As he was she was going to pick. Kwani anabadilisha mawazo sasa? Did he change the idea? Anaenda kama nani commando. She continues to walk like a commando. Anachuma. And she picked. Mungu anafikiri labda. And God thought. Atalimenya tu atakula. She just hey. feel not eating it. Mungu anamwangalia. God just watching. Anaweza akaingilia kati. You know God can intervene. Akampiga hata upofu asione kama ni even blind her. Aone ni mavia ngombe lakini anamwangalia. But God was just watching. Akachuma. So he picked. She picked. Anamenya Mungu anamwangalia. Mungu ana kielelele na dhambi yako. God is not quick. Lakini jua itakukwamisha. But no, it's going to stop. Jua hutaenda mahali. No, you not you go nowhere. Jua atakupinga yeye. No, it'll be against you. Kabla ya watu kukupinga. Before men are against you. Atakuzuia. God will stop you. Kabla ya watu. Before other people. Shangai kitu kinisha. So be surprised what happened then. Anachuma Mungu anamwangalia. So she picked the fruit. Anamenya Mungu anasema moja sore. She peeled it. Atakula kwa elia watarisha. He say is he going to eat? Anasema akashangaa mtu amekula. He was surprised the man ate. Alafu Roni anasema ni tamu kwa kweli. And later on he said, "Oh, so sweet." Zambi zote zina faida my friend. Oh, some all things of profit. Na zinavutia watu. And they attract. Watu wanaiba, wanajenga vitu vyao. People still build their own construction. Watu wanazini wanapata watoto. Uh, people commit adultery and have children. Eh, hey, wame wamechelewa wame, wame, wame kumngoja Bwana waenda kuzini nje ili wapate watoto. People are waiting are tired to wait for the Lord so they ah. go outside and ah. conceive. Mungu mwenyewe anajua, anaona. They say ah, God himself knows about it. Ni kama wanafikiri ni faida. It's like they think that is profitable. Kumbe ni mabaya wanajichumia. But that is a wickedness they pick for themselves. Mungu akamwangalia hadi anachuma na God saw Eve taking the fruit. Akasema labda eating. Labda And God thought ataenda kumwambia mume wake kwa sababu mume wake ndo ana agano atamuongoza tasala tu. So God thought probably the husband ah uh-uh. with the covenant will lead her the prayer of this. Nilivyo tamu. Uh, so the way she said the way sweet it is. Lazima na yeye ale. Uh, my husband also must eat. Akaja kama mtu aliyefanya kazi kubwa mtu. So he came back like someone who's done a very great work. Ah. Leo nimekuletea tunda. I brought you this fruit. La maana sana. You know this very beautiful. Hii yote inaendelea sio Mungu kipofu anaona. All this are going on in God. Anaweza kaingilia kati akakaa namna hii angalie nini unafanya. God could intervene to see what is going on. Akampa Adam. So he gave it he gave it to Adam. Hasa Adam said, "Huh? Yeah. Huyu jamaa na kichocheo kimemezwa. This one on the head was not correct." Kwa tuone. So let's see. Angalia Mungu alivyo ana kielelele na See God is not quick at all to make decisions. Anakuacha tu. God is letting you go. Anakuandaa kufa. God is preparing you to undergo death. Kachukua jamaa na yeye. So the man took Akala. and then ate. Mungu akasema ngoja niwatembelee. God <laughs> said, "Let me visit them." Kwa hicho kituko ngoja ni Because for this wonder they have done Let me visit them. Let me visit them. Ameacha kuwatembelea kuanzia mwanzo. So God stopped you visiting them from the beginning. Anawatembelea baada ya kukosea. So after they sinned, then God visits them. Wewe unajua tu. You don't know. Kuna baraka huwa zinakuja ukishakosea. There are blessings which come after you have wronged God. Kinachotokea wanabeba waliokuwa wameandaliwa. What happens is others carry your blessings. Na hii ndio njia shetani anatumia kuaibia watu baraka zake. And this is the way Satan uses to steal blessings Wakati of people. Wakati umemngoja Mungu kwa muda mrefu. You have waited for God for a long time. Ukachoka na kukakata tamaa. And when you get tired, unapoenda kukosea. The moment you go to Mungu anaamua ngoja nimtembelee. This where God now say let me visit him. Oh ha. Ngoja 
So God said, let me go visit them. Let me go to visit them. When God comes, he can see you. Adam, he begin asking, Adam, Adam, where are you? Say, I'm here, Bagala. Where are you? I'm here, Boko. Have you stopped coming to church? Say, church has stopped five years back. I wait, I've waited for a long time. I saw you never answered my prayer. So I took it to myself. So I took it to myself. Yes, my daddy. Said, no problem. Because you took of the fruits and you disobeyed the voice of God. Now you shall die. Eh? Mm. Kufatena. To die again? Dio. Yes. Nisikie. Listen. Mungu ana kerere na zambi za wao. God is not quick about sins of people. Alimtokea Kaini. Appear to Cain. Akamwambia Cain eh? And he told Cain. Sikiliza. Listen. Usipotenda vyema. If you don't do good. Dambi ipo mlangoni. Sin is at your doorstep. Lakini inakupasa uishinde. You are supposed to overcome. Maandiko yanasema. The Bible says. Cain akawa anamsikiliza Mungu. Cain heard God. Wakati anamwambia ndugu yake twende uandani Mungu yuko hapo. When he told the brother let's go to the place. kabisa mipango ya kwenda kuwa ilivyo kichwa na ilivyochorwa lakini hajaingia kazi. God saw the plans to kill the brother Wakaondoka. but never intervene they wamefika uandani when they went the wilderness mungu anaona god saw mungu ana kirere na zambi god is not quick to anaona see. god saw anamuinukia ndugu yake anaua so can raise against the brother and kill mungu anaona god is saying na hajaingilia and never intervene baada ya kuua after killing ndio sauti ya mungu inakuja the voice of god comes kaini kain ko api where are you niko huko i'm here na mayego What you doing? I continue my own things. Where is your brother? Do you mean that God did not see? That Abel was killed. God is not quick to your sin. He is waiting to kill you softly. Say so what have you done? The, the blood of your brother arisini inanililia. The blood of your brother is crying from the land. Am I my brother's keeper? Tangu siku ile Mungu anamwambia Cain. From that moment God tells Cain. Tangu leo nakuwekea alama. From today I'm putting a sign on your face for you. Kila atakaye kuona. Everyone who sees you atakuua. Will kill you. Cain akasema jamani. Cain said, "Ah, adhabu hiyo ni kubwa. This punishment is too much." I can't Kama unjanielewa nikupe pia siri. If you can't understand it, Mungu ana kerere na dhambi yake. God not quick to us see. Anakuandaa tu. God is preparing you. Namna utaanguka. The way you are going to fall. Kamuulize Gehazi atakwambia. As Gehazi will tell you. Karibu na nabii wa Mungu. You know very close. Lakini the prophet is God. But is the still is the thing. Naamani anakuja. Naamani is coming. Anasema sikiliza. He says listen. Eh. Mm. Mimi nataka wewe mtoe Mungu. I want the child of son of Nataka the man of God. Mwone. I want to see the man of God. I want to talk the man of God. Says, man of God said go and wash Na yourself the river. And go and wash yourself shua, seven wa, times. Shua tu, in the river Jordan. Shua, fa, so shua, one, two, three, shua, four, five, six, six seven. Asema, mimi. He say, I Na yangu. with all my respect. Anakata, mbali ka vizuri hey! Mimi. Mimi na heshima yangu. With all my respect. Halafu anasema nini? And he says what? Ay, 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 ay. No way. Huyu nabii ana adabu. This prophet is not respected. Baada ya kaenda, let on he went. Gehazi aliona zile sawadi. Gehazi so. Zile sadaka. The rewards. Sikavutiwa. The offer. Hicho la nabii linamuona. The eye. Tangu alipoanza kutamani anamuona. He desired. Lakini kuna shule ya kinabii alishinda. But there is a school of Shule la nabii linamuona. The prophet is saying namna anatamani hiyo sadaka the way he desired the offering namna ambavyo anatamani kwenda the way he wishes to go akaondoka so he moved akaangalia tu mazingira akasema hapa hapa you see the circumstances say no here go and he followed anamkuta mtu wa Mungu ambaye so he met ulipoondoka tu the army commander said tumeletewa wageni the moment you left visitors came na wageni and these visitors wanasema they say Hatuna chakula cha kuapa anaenda kuaibisha nyumba ya nabii. These visitors have come and you don't have food to give the visitors. Asa, ulipoondoka when you left. Wageni wameingia. Visitors came. Na hatukua na chakula cha kuapa. And have nothing, no food Asa, to give. Asa, kwa hiyo, so, nimetumwa nichukue mzigo. I'm sent to take the gifts. 
Naamani aliposikia sadaka inachukuliwa alifanyia jali furahi. So when Akampakia the gift you are taking na Naaman was very happy. Mbali, so he packed akampakia zile zawadi so zote packed all the gifts nafikiri akaongeza hata na za ziada he probably he added some Gicho more mungu linamuona but the eye of god Mtu wa mungu saw anamuona the man of aliweza god kum, angeweza kumzuia tangu alipopanga kweka he could have stopped him from the moment he planned it to go anaenda but he will have akavichukua akavipeleka nyumbani kwake he took all the things or the gifts akaenda akavificha and he hid them at his mungu, the eye of god was seeing and god was quiet Kusima, eh? Kusima, eh? now say yes Kirisho, toke, what happened next anarudi kwa mtu wa mungu he comes back now mm. to the man of god galila ya yesu alitembe galila ya jesus juu ya maji kwa uweza wako ona jua mezini kabisa unakuja kanisani galila ya you know that you have committed adultery yes, and you come to church and you mungu ataonekana au aonekane ataonekana will be seen or not mtu wa mungu akamwangalia the man of god looked at him akamwambia umetoka wapi where are you from where are you from anasema mimi he says i nilikuwa hapo nyuma nafua mabuti yangu i was just behind there washing the boats nilikuwa nafua mabuti yangu ya nikani washing the boats at the back backyard akamwambia eli gehazi wewe he said gehazi uso wangu into my face macho yangu into my eyes hayakwenda na wewe go with you ulipoenda when you want to collect sadaka. those gifts Mungu anakierere. God is not quick. Na dhambi yako. With your sin. Anakuangalia tu. He's just watching. Anakuandalia nguko. Is preparing for your death. Pa! Gazi anashangaa. Gazi is surprised. Anaambia usikilize. He said listen. Kwa hiyo nini? So what next? Ukoma. He says the leprosy wa Naaman. Of Naaman utakuwa juu yako. Will be upon you. Nafikiri alitetemeka mtu. I think the man trembled. Unaweza kudanganya kila mtu. You can lie to everyone. Lakini unaweza kumdanganya Mungu. But you can lie to God. Yeah. Chochote Mungu anachokifanya kwako. Whatever God does to you, anakutaka. God wants you. So hana shida na kitu kingine so na God has no, has no, has no other The problem. only thing you can give God give him you. Chochote ambacho unaweza kumpa Mungu ni wewe mwenyewe. Give him you are self ujitoi wewe mwenyewe ndio maana maandiko yanasema itoeni miili yenu kuwa dhabihu this why the bible say give Takatif your body iliyo hai hiyo ndiyo sadaka living sacrifice yenye maana that is a meaningful sacrifice